Some people wait for their dividend stocks to pay every three months. Others collect monthly dividends. My dividend stocks pay me every single week. In this video, I'll give you a simple dividend strategy that will put cash in your pocket every week of the year. Just 12 dividend stocks that will keep cash flowing into your account. We're talking the ultimate dividend stock list today on Let's Talk Money. Be dead. Make money. Make your money work for Creating you. the financial future you deserve. Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel. I wanna send a special shout out to everyone out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, monthly dividend stocks are hugely popular here on the channel, but even getting paid once a month still leaves you scrambling for up to 30 days for your next dividend check. And I don't know anyone that can wait that long to get paid. Even though most dividend stocks only pay once every three months, every quarter, the beauty is that most pay on an extremely consistent schedule, paying you the same week each and every year. That means you can actually create a dividend portfolio of just 12 stocks that puts cash in your account every single week. In this video, I'll show you the 12 dividend stocks in my weekly cash strategy, how dividend stocks work, and how to use this strategy. But imagine that, knowing that you've got cash flow coming into your account every single week, money you can count on to pay the bills or just relax a little bit. These 12 stocks I'm gonna show you produce a 3.63% average dividend yield, which is almost twice the yield on the overall stock market. I am excited to get started, but I wanted to throw this out to the community. How much do you need to make each week in dividends to be happy? I'm not talking about how much to pay your bills or how much to live on, but I wanna know how much do you wanna make each week and what would you do with it? So just scroll down and let us know in the comments how much you want to make each week in dividends and some of the things that you're going to do with that dividend payday. We're going to get started though and I'll show you how to set this up as we go. Our first stock though is Retail King Walmart, ticker WMT and it's 1.6% dividend yield. Now these 12 dividend stocks aren't the only stocks you can buy to design this weekly dividend portfolio, but I went through the list and tried to pick out the ones with the most stable dividends, the best yields and that strong return potential. For example, while Walmart is in a death race with Amazon for retail supremacy, the company is pretty much unmatched in that traditional brick and mortar space. Walmart reported a 97% surge in online orders last quarter and just blew past the market expectations by 25% to report $1.52 in per share earnings. And I think a lot of that e-commerce growth sticks around here and the company combines it with that brick and mortar dominance to, to really keep those earnings growing. Walmart is paying dividends of about 54 cents a share and usually pays in the first week of January, April, June, and September. And here on Yahoo Finance, you actually see the ex-dividend dates, which are usually about a week or two before the dividend is actually paid out. Now I'm gonna explain how all this works to produce those weekly dividends here in a minute, but I wanna get back to that list and one of the highest dividend yields, Altria Group, ticker MO, and it's 7.9% dividend yield. So here you see the X dividend dates for Altria. And again, I'll explain the date in a minute, uh, but then it usually pays the dividend in the second week of that January, April, June, and September period. So if you start to see what I'm getting to here, you're gonna collect that Walmart dividend in the first week of those four months. Then the Altria dividend check is gonna be coming in the second week. And through these 12 dividend stocks, you're gonna collect a dividend every single week of the year. Now, as far as Altria and that high dividend yield, while cigarette volumes are on that downward trend, especially in the developed markets, pricing has kept up so the company's cash flows are extremely stable. Uh, plus, this has also got the moonshot investments in vaping and cannabis that, that are gonna help grow the business in the future. For example, Altria has a $1.8 billion stake in the cannabis company Kronos Group, gives it a 45% share of the company, basically setting it up for a future acquisition. It also owns 10% of Anheuser-Busch, which gives it that steady growth in the alcoholic beverage market. Next on our list, paying in the third week of that January, April, June, and September period is real estate investment trust WP Carry, ticker WPC, and a 5.8% dividend yield. Now, those of you in the nation know I am a big believer in real estate. It's where I got my professional start as a commercial property analyst and then managed my own real estate rentals. A WPC is a $17 billion REIT and a solid diversification by property type. In fact, it's pretty evenly spread across industrial, warehouse, office, and retail space. Now, most of the portfolio is in the United States, though it does hold just over 35% of those properties in Europe, which gives it a great geographic diversification. The company collects over $1.1 billion in annualized base rents and books 98% occupancy over 131 million square feet across more than 1,100 properties. 
Now, WP Carry has topped expectations for funds from operations over the last four quarters. That's FFO of a $6.37 per share last year. Now, remember, as we talked about in our REITs and MLP videos, you can't use those regular earnings or the price to earnings ratio for these stocks because of that huge depreciation charge that they book. That $6.37 in funds from operations actually gives it a 12 times price to FFO multiple, which is just under the REIT industry average of around 14 times. So here you see the stock usually goes ex-dividend towards the end of the month in that June, March, December, and September, which means investors are going to collect that payment a few weeks later. One last stock here in the January, April, June, and September block is Cisco Systems, ticker CSCO, and it's 3.4% dividend yield. Cisco had a disappointing second quarter report with shares plunging 12% in August, but it could be a great opportunity to pick up some shares of this tech titan and a huge yield. Now, the outlook for enterprise spending is pretty weak, and that's what caused the slide in the shares, especially as companies switch from, to that at-home workforce. Uh, but Cisco here is making up for it in its security and subscriptions business. Management is also launching a cost-saving program that could shave as much as a billion dollars off the cost. Even as tech and networking space shifts, Cisco is still a dominant force in most of its product segments. Uh, that's uh, switches, routers, cybersecurity, and networking. So I don't see this most recent quarter as an existential threat. Here, Cisco stock generally goes ex-dividend and then pays out in the fourth week of that January, April, June, and September timeframe. We still have eight more dividend stocks to round out your portfolio and produce those weekly dividends, but I wanted to explain a little bit more about how this works, and, and we'll start with how dividends are paid. Now, with dividend stocks, there's three dates that you need to know about if you're going to be investing in these. Uh, these are the declaration date, the ex-dividend date, and then the payment date. So the date of declaration is when the board of directors in a company announces that dividend. Here they're also going to tell investors when the other two dates are going to occur. The single most important date for dividend investors is called the ex-dividend date, and that's the first date that the stock is going to trade without the dividend. Now pay attention to that. It means that you need to own the shares on the day before to get the dividend payout. So everyone that owns that stock at the close of the market on the day before that ex-dividend date is going to get paid. If you buy the stock on the ex-dividend date or after, you're asked out. So make sure you understand this if you're going to buy into these stocks. Last here is the payment date, and that's usually going to be a couple of weeks after the ex-dividend date. Now, this is when you're actually going to see that dividend payment hit your investing account or a few companies still send out those physical checks. Now, most of this isn't going to be a big deal if you're going to be buying these stocks and hold them for years because those dividend dates are going to come every three months like clockwork and you'll get that payment in your account. The only time this is going to matter is if you're adding or selling those stocks in your account. Our first stock here for dividend payments in February, May, August, and November is an investor favorite. $213 billion AT&T, ticker T, and it's 6.9% dividend yield. AT&T is still trading at a fairly steep discount to its February high, and it looks like the trend in cable cord cutting is slowing down a little. In total, pay television lost about 1.6 million subscribers in the second quarter, which, which was better than the 2 million it lost in the prior quarter and, and the same as last year. But against that weakness in cable, the company is still a leader in wireless and media, and, and the Warner Media segment, I really think this is a powerhouse that should help support growth. And just the company's sheer scale and scope of business helps it to lower those costs and cross-sell into the entire ecosystem of products. The shares have been a consistent payer and one of the highest dividend yields in the group, with investors receiving the payment in the first week of the month in February, May, August, and November. Now for our second week dividend payment, I'm adding alternative asset manager Blackstone Group, ticker BX, and it's 3.5% dividend yield. I really like Blackstone and have actually held the shares since 2012 for a 533% return in including that dividend. And the company invests in private equity, real estate, hedge funds, just a lot of those alternative investment strategies that most investors never get access to. In fact, because of an SEC regulation, typically only those people with a million dollars net worth or higher can invest in a lot of these. Uh, but buying shares of the Blackstone Group, that company, that's going to give you exposure to this side of the market and a really solid return. Here, the stock usually goes ex-dividend towards the beginning of the month in February, May, August, and November, which means you're going to get paid around that second week. The dividends are a little more volatile here. Uh, basically, the company just tries to pay out as much as it can in each and every quarter. Next here is everyone's favorite, shares of $2 trillion Apple Inc., ticker AAPL. Even though this one pays a skimpy 0.65%, I think we can all agree that that price return is about as good as it gets, and some of the $100 billion sitting in cash probably going to help boost the dividend payment pretty soon. 
Now, Apple has had a hell of a run over the last year, and while the shares are a little pricey right now, Mac and iPad sales are through the roof on that work from home trend. Management has said that the upcoming line of new iPhones are, is going to be out in October, and that could put more support under the stock. It's just hard to argue against shares of Apple, right? Here is a company that produces $71 billion in free cash flow every single year, has a squeaky clean balance sheet that's nearly net cash positive, and if you've ever tried switching from a Mac to PC, you know how frustrating it is and why so few people do it. Here you see the ex-dividend dates for Apple stock, pretty regular around the end of that first week of the month in February, May, August, and November, and really a solid 6% annualized increase in the payments. Shares of Caterpillar, ticker CAT, and its 2.9% dividend yield have lagged for a few years, but could be building to something soon. Caterpillar is the largest construction and mining equipment producer in the world, and while construction growth has held up pretty well, that mining segment has lagged hard since gold prices plunged in 2013. Now that gold prices are hitting those all-time highs again, though, we could start seeing a boom in capital spending by those miners, and top-line sales for Caterpillar could jump higher. Beyond that, though, there is a good chance we finally get the infrastructure bill passed that we've been waiting on for a few years, which, which would put Caterpillar right in front of both these trends. Shares go ex-dividend around the middle of the month, which means you'll usually receive that dividend in the last week. Now, we've still got four more dividend stocks on our list, but I wanted to make sure that you know how I found these and how to use this strategy. Like we've talked about, most dividend stocks pay out each year on extremely consistent schedules. Dividend investors love that certainty and the consistency, so the directors of these companies, the board of directors, they try to declare and pay those dividends on the same week every three months, some, some even down to the same day. So you can put together a list of your top dividend stocks, and then all it takes is going to a site like Yahoo Finance or any investing platform. You go to the stock quote, and here I'm going to the historical data tab. If I change the time period to the last five years and then over here to show dividends only, then the site is gonna show me those X dividend dates of every dividend payment over that last five year period. And you can see these are consistently the same time during the same months. Shares of Apple go X dividend generally towards the end of the first week in February, May, August, and November. Once you have your list of when your favorite dividend stocks go X dividend, you can plan it out so you have stocks going X dividend at different weeks of the month, which of course means that you're gonna get those payments a few weeks later in a staggered way. Understand that these companies can change these dates, so you need to be watching and adjust your portfolio if you notice that your dividend payments are off. Last group here, and we're starting off on our March, June, September, and December dividends with five or ticker PFE and it's 3.9% dividend yield. But one thing I really like about this dividend stock portfolio, besides that these are all solid companies with high yields, is that there is a lot of diversity in the group as well. And we've got a tech name, we've got industrials, defense, and here we'll have a couple in healthcare and consumer staples as well. Actually, Pfizer is another long-term holding for me, but has a great near-term catalyst with its COVID-19 vaccine in coordination with partner BioNTech, ticker BNTX. Now, even though there's going to be a lot of competition for that COVID vaccines, and, and I generally believe it's not going to be the cash cow that most investors think, just the fact that Pfizer thinks it can be the first mover in this with a completed vaccine in late 2020 just really shows the strength of the company's development process. Pfizer has a strong pipeline in oncology and cardiovascular drugs, and the sell of its mature drugs portfolio up John late last year put a ton of cash on the balance sheet. I think it's going to be able to use that cash to increase the dividend and still keep a strong development schedule. Here's Pfizer's dividend schedule, usually going ex-dividend early in the month, which should mean dividend payments in that first week. Another top dividend stock in the healthcare and staples space next, Johnson & Johnson, ticker J&J, &J, and it's 2.6% yield. J&J &J has got to be one of my favorite passed over stocks. Uh, the company rarely gets those big headlines or a lot of investor hype, but this one has produced a consistent 11% annual return for nearly three decades. Well, what makes Johnson & Johnson so strong, and this is something most investors don't realize, is that it's got the perfect mix of business segments. That consumer staple segment produces a consistent cash flow that can then be used to fund research and development for the pharmaceuticals division, the segment which in turn provides for huge growth in the stock. This is very similar to Warren Buffett's strategy with Berkshire Hathaway, where he uses that cash flow from the insurance side of the business to fund out those moonshot investments in other companies, and it's a strategy that consistently creates for an excellent investment. J&J &J recently announced its acquisition of Momenta Pharmaceuticals, which will help build on its pipeline, and the company 
company beat expectations for earnings by 12% in the most recent quarter. Here's the ex-dividend dates for shares of J&J, consistently around the third week of the month, which should put the payment in your pocket during that second week of the next month. Avery Dennison, ticker AVY, is another stock you probably don't hear much about, but posts a solid 2% dividend yield paid in the third week of March, June, September, and December. Avery Dennison is the world's largest supplier of pressure-sensitive adhesive materials and RFID tags. Now, both of these are highly fragmented industries, so the company's $10 billion market cap its size gives it a lot of pricing and cost advantage over its competitors. That retail RFID segment only accounts for about 25% of the sales, so, so it really hasn't hurt the company too much this year, and it was able to beat earnings expectations by 12% during the second quarter. The shares generally go ex-dividend in the first days of the month in that March, June, September, and December period. Our fourth week dividend here for the group is Lockheed Martin, ticker LMT, and its 2.4% dividend yield. Now, Lockheed has been one of my favorites for that stable cash flow since the pandemic really doesn't affect the defense spending segment. About 30% of the company's revenue comes from that F-35 contract, which extends through 2070, so decades of cash flow to drive those shares. But even on a change in Washington here, I think the rise of China and the belligerence of Russia means defense spending is going to be fairly safe for the foreseeable future. Lockheed goes ex-dividend later in the month and usually gets its dividend paid quickly. So here is that entire list of dividend stocks, 12 stocks that will produce a dividend check every week of the year. This dividend portfolio is going to produce about a 3.6% cash payment, and they're consistent enough that you can count on it. I do want to warn you here, though. These are solid dividend-paying stocks that will not only put cash in your pocket, but also grow your portfolio, but they can't perform miracles. I'm going to get a lot of questions and comments on the video asking, so how much to invest to make like $1,000 a week, and, and people aren't going to like the answer. Nation, you cannot put $1,000 in dividend stocks and expect to retire immediately. Let's be realistic here. Even a 10% yield on $100,000 in stocks, it's only going to be about $830 a month. And most safe stocks that are good investments, they're not going to pay anywhere near that. I have over $250,000 in dividend stocks alone and collect over $200 a week just in those payouts. But that's on work, the work that I put in over 20 years. Why I picked the stocks in this list is because they increase their share price along with the dividends and they do it so consistently you're gonna be able to grow that into a weekly dividend check. Click on the video to the right for the seven highest paying monthly dividend stocks. Seven stocks you can add to your portfolio for a higher dividend yield. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.